Hello. So, throughout history, there have been innumerable inventions of all kinds to make people's lives better, to make work easier, to make it more possible to get things done more effectively. But only a few inventions out of all of the millions of inventions are real standout, real highlight inventions. This is the super important ones. One of those we're going to talk about today. The invention of the automobile. Now the automobile was invented in 1885 by Carl Benz. And Carl Benz is this man right here. This was in Mannheim, Germany, where he did this. So, Carl was working with engines, had been working with engines for some years. In fact, he invented the two-stroke engine. The very first two-stroke engine was this one here, his design. And it was a bit revolutionary. The only engines there had been before that were four-stroke engines. Just a di little bit of a different design, but it made it lighter, made it more powerful for the size. And he went into the business of building and selling these engines, and they were for use in factories. They put them in textile mills and this kind of thing to run machinery. But uh, he wanted to use an engine on a cart or a carriage to carry people and things around. And so he designed a purpose-built gasoline-powered automobile. And he made this in 1885, put in a patent for it, and actually received the patent in uh, just the, fall of the first month of the next year. This was in January 1886, he got the patent for this design. I'll show you a picture of this car. Here's the actual car that he invented. This is the first ever automobile. It has three wheels. They had bicycle wheels that he liked to use for this car. He thought that was just a better design than uh, the hard wooden carriage wheels, which were common in the day. These were rubber, and so they had a little softer, easier run. So had a very small four-stroke engine in the back. It was about a half of a horsepower. A, mo a, a lawnmower has more power than that today. It was a, not a very big engine, but in the day, that was good enough. This car drove about 10 miles an hour, maximum speed. But it was a horseless carriage, and this was an innovation. And he was continually improving on it and working on it. In fact, he did so much to make his car work, he invented not just the automobile, but many of the common parts that are in automobiles of the day. All to make this so that it would work. And they would take this car out. He and his wife and the kids would drive over to the restaurant at the end of town or down by the river for a picnic. Sometimes the car would break down and they'd have to push it back. But nevertheless, he would take the car, drive it around the neighborhood. But what they soon discovered is it was not really acceptable by everybody. There were many people that didn't like this noise and didn't like this smoke and didn't like this stinky thing. And he had a difficult time making it known, even though he won a gold medal at an exhibition in Munich for his fantastic invention. There were still too many people that were leery of this new strange machine. And in, fir in fact, the, the first ever customer was from France, the first guy that bought a car. He was the first ever automobile customer. And he actually bought the car, and he then would later buy parts from cars from Carl Benz and assemble them. He would have his machine shops you know, put pieces together, and they would actually sell cars in France with parts that Carl would provide. And that was the Rogers Benz. It was one of the early automobiles. And they were being sold in France, and he could still not find a customer in Germany. And then the second customer for buying an automobile was a man from England. 
And he bought the car, took it back to London, and he was driving around the city streets until the police there got wind of it, and they actually confiscated his car, and they passed a law about this automobile and any future automobiles in England that to drive a car in England, you had to have a man walking in front of the car, ringing a bell and waving a warning flag to make sure that the people who were up ahead were warned that here comes an automobile. And so that was how you could drive an automobile on the streets in England, was behind a walking man. A little bit of a difficult time. Then certainly uh, there was an American that bought a car, and eventually a German bought a car. The first German that bought a car, he loved it. A young man bought the car, he had a wealthy family, rich dad. He was out driving. It wasn't two days later that the father came and saw Carl and had his servants bring the car back, and he was furious. He said, I don't know how my son ever had such a crazy idea to buy such a ridiculous machine as this, but I'm returning it to you because my son is insane. And in fact, he was so convinced his son was insane for buying and driving an automobile that he had him committed to a psychiatric hospital. Tough times. Nevertheless, over the time, over the years, Carl sold more cars, it became more famous. And eventually, it got to the point where the Kaiser owned a car, and wealthy people bought cars, and soon other people started buying cars, and it became more and more the popular thing. So, that was the lesson about one of the few inventions that changed the world, the invention of the automobile. And I would encourage you to consider what bright idea have you got that would help you in your life or your family or your friends at school? I'd like you to consider it and do something about it. Let us know what ideas have you got that nobody else has ever thought of. I'm sure you've got one in there. Thanks.